Hey everybody, back on the road again. Uh, it's May the 12th, I think. May the 11th, 2022. In the midst of the highest fuel prices we've ever had. And I just got diesel for $4.83. So it can happen. I'll stick that in the video somewhere. I videoed the, my screen and everything on how I found that. But we're headed to Elkhart uh, to pick up a load, changing it up a bit. This trip, I'm not going to Texas. I am going down to, I don't know if you know where uh, the Gulf Shores in Alabama uh, is or Orange Beach. Uh, it's kind of between, there's a town uh, between Mobile, Alabama, and uh, I think Orange Beach or the Gulf Shores or something down in there. I'll be almost right on the Gulf. So I may just, and it's not as long of a trip for me, which means I won't make as much money, but the average. The net profit will be the same no matter what, you know, of course. But uh, anyway, that's where I'm headed. Uh, and I may just, I don't know, I get down there. Depends on how I feel. If I get down there early enough, I may get me an Uber and go to the beach and walk the beach this evening. Or, well, it'll be tomorrow. I'll be back at that Hanson tonight standard for me my wife picking me up but this trip is actually even more straight that's the route I would actually have to take no doubt go back right through my hometown so this is this is going to save me a little bit more on fuel uh, because if you route like I said if I'm going to Texas sometimes the route that they pay for uh, I don't know if I've explained this before but maybe a more direct route than me coming straight back to where I live and then cutting over. It's never a whole lot of miles off, maybe about 50, but sometimes it could be 100 miles, which affects, you know, if I'm getting paid for a lo with a loaded RV for their route, which is a little bit less mileage than actually what I'm driving, it affects my pay some, but I haven't noticed that much. I mean, it's worth it to me to get back home, stay at my house versus taking that straight direct route over there. So uh, that's why these south loads are so important to me is that I can shoot down and get to my house one night and then take off. And three day trip is only, uh, of course you've heard it before, three day trip, I'm only gone one night. So but anyway, I may get down there today. Heck, I may just get an Uber and go down to the beach. And I'm, I'm not a beach person. I would rather, I'm would i a mountain person. I'd rather go to the mountains and go to the beach. But one thing I do like about enjoy when the family wants to go to the beach is the evening walks along the ocean, on the beach along, well, I guess you're on the ocean if you're on the beach. but. The evening walks on the beach, I guess, are the my most favorite part of it. And the early mornings, because nobody gets up when I do. Uh, I get up early every morning about 4.30 or yeah, around 4.30, and I go work out before I go to my, my J-O-B job, just over broke job. Uh, so I naturally, on the week, on the days I can sleep in, I don't. Sometimes I do, but most of the time I'll get up at my regular time so I can get out on the beach early. And that's actually the, my favorite. The evenings are not too bad. Anyway, we're headed to Elkhart. We're going to pick up a Coleman. It's a travel trailer this time. It's not a fifth wheel. Uh, this was on the second priority list. Usually I try to pull from the highest priority list because I'm trying to help out the company. I know a lot of people don't really give a crap whether they help the company or not, but I still try to get the 
good loads for me, but also help the company out. So I know there's been some loads that ended up close here to me that weren't on the uh, high priority list. And I chose to take the one like last time, and I chose to take the one in Texas. I noticed somebody went down into the second, third priority to take it. So that's okay. People got different things, do want to do different things, but I want to try to help dynamic as much as I can. I, like I've said in the video before, I really um, want to see them exceed, succeed. Um, I actually love the company. I think they're a great company to work for. Um, if you got any questions on the company, I'll have my email address in the in the uh, description. You can send, shoot me an email. I'll share a load board or something with you. But uh, anyway, so I, this one I went and picked out of the second. I was trying to find one in the first, but uh, something funny is going on with the exemption on. Evidently, we didn't have to use the GVWR rating whenever we were hauling or something. I don't fully understand it. Now we do. Now we got to have IFTA. Uh, and if you don't know what IFTA is, I'm not going to explain that. Uh, you can look that up, IFTA. So they've got to get all their CDL drivers now on this IFTA. So until they do that, then pretty much all the CDL loads we can't do. So I don't know, a week or two from now, hopefully they're, they're working hard to get that done. So we obviously, because nobody can haul that uh, until they get this IFTA worked out. But that's no problem to me. But anyway, I couldn't find a good one on the first priority. There was some that I could have taken, but the camper, uh, that's another tip. Uh, you want to, before you pick your load, you want to look up on the internet if you don't know what kind of camper you're pulling. If you've not pulled it before, look it up and see what it looks like. They had several of these Pumas, I think they were. That, but they're flat faced. They're like a hauling, like you would haul a mobile home or something. To, I mean, it'd be like a hauling a brick wall against the wind. It'd be terrible fuel mileage. So I chose not to take those. And I found this one. I thought I've been looking for one anyway, a different route to take, break up the Texas run every now and then. So this is a good one. And I will keep you guys posted as much as I can on this trip. So. I appreciate you guys watching. If you would like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell because that helps me. And you know, when you're doing a YouTube channel, you don't people think that you're making money, but you're not. This is like I'm not making any money on this. I'm just doing it for you guys, hopefully. And it's I guess I'm starting to enjoy it. I started out not really enjoying it because of so much tech stuff but I'm starting to get all that figured out but anyway uh, if you'd like subscribe that will get me more I don't fully understand that all but that'll get me more uh, recognition with YouTube I guess and I think at some point it can get monetized through the commercials and things that come on and I don't know how that works. I'm told it's not much, but at least it'll be a little bit to help me with the time it takes me to upload these videos and do all this and buy all this equipment and stuff. So I appreciate you doing that, and we will see you in a little bit. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention another different thing about this trip besides me going to a different location is I decided to take three days off work and go during the week. So today is a uh, Wednesday. So I will get back Wednesday night, drive down Thursday, drop it off Friday morning early and come back Friday. So uh, I'm interested in seeing the difference in traffic also way stations one of the things I think I like about and I, I'm assuming Sunday because usually I'm doing my 
most of my travel south from my house is on Sunday. And most of the way stations are always closed. About 90% of the time they're closed when I go down south on Sunday. Now, I don't know what it's going to be like today. I know I came by the one in Evansville, Indiana, right before you get into Kentucky this morning, and it was open. So um, I'll have to hit that one on the way back through if it's still open when I get there, which will be late this evening, probably be about 6 or so. Uh, it's 8, 8 a.m. right now. but um, So that's kind of... I'm going to, going to see what driving during the week does. So, uh, anyway, that's the other thing that's different about this trip. So, see you guys later. everybody got an update we are uh, probably let's see an hour and 14 minutes it says from picking up our camper we're 61 miles from South Bend um, everything's going well today it's 84 degrees outside I've got the air conditioner running and I'm getting 17.4 miles per gallon which is killer Nothing really to add here. It's a nice day. A little warm, I guess, if you want to say that. But it's better than coming up here with it snowing and cold and stuff. <laughs> I am uh, kind of looking forward to this trip tomorrow. I'm actually thinking about calling them and seeing what, how late they are open accepting campers down there. I can make it in one day if I leave early in the morning. I can get there around two or three or four. If I leave like at five in the morning, I can be down there by three o'clock easy probably. So I may just decide to go ahead and take that on, deliver it tomorrow evening, tomorrow afternoon.
Okay, we are here. We are looking for a Coleman number 4093. This yard actually has some organization to it. It says it's on row 312 and they actually got row numbers on this one. That looking good. Never been to this yard before. And this is truly a yard. Not seen a 312 yet. I guess I'm going the wrong way. There's 311, there's 312. All right, now we're looking for 44093. Oh my gosh, numbers are so small on these. I believe that's it. 44093, what awesome. Let's get out and check the paperwork and stuff. All right, first thing we want to check is the VIN number 44093 is the last digits. 44093, I want to make sure the paperwork is in the door. There's the paperwork. Go up here and check it. Sure we have this dealer acceptance form we do we got all the paperwork so let's get hooked up All right, if I said I freaking hate this recording crap, I just went through the whole process of hooking this up. And to find out, this Blaine camera had shut off on me. I'll have to do it again the next time I have a travel trailer. Because it's a lot more to a travel trailer than it is hooking up to a fifth wheel. I've already walked around this thing checking for damage. I found a couple of spots. This thing here, you need to put that on. Make sure that's on when you leave, but it's broke right there. So I'm gonna tape it down so it don't come off. And then over here, uh, actually, I don't know if that's damaged or not. I don't think that is. So I just got that. I'm not gonna worry about reporting that little piece. All right, the only thing I got left to do now is the uh, torque, the, the lug nuts, take pictures, and uh, get out of here.
technology. That's a 13 sixteenths. Uh, if you don't know what the torques are supposed to be, they give you a sheet. This is Forest River torque guide, but a 13, there's not one for a 13 16, so three quarters, seven eighths. Three quarters, 110, and seven eighths is 120, so I'm gonna say 120 is sufficient enough. I did a video on this at one time, I think, on these torque sticks. Maybe go back and check. my videos It's humid today. That's okay, I'm not complaining. You don't know these things torque down to the uh, is uh, set to go to a certain poundage. And they will do, when they get to that poundage, they'll shut off, quit turning. You don't have to have one of these, but it sure speeds up this process a whole lot instead of getting the pork wrench out. I think this was, this came from Harbor Freight, it's Earthquake XT, 20 volt. I don't remember the price, I think it was around $250 or something. That's done. Now, we'll go around here and put the license plate on. I gotta remember to come back and tape that up there. I wanna get a better system for this. Sometimes these, where they put for these license plates, these rubber pieces, especially when it's cold, can break. And I've seen some people use a, a small strap that you can pick up at Walmart, I think. Okay, that's done. It takes a lot longer to pick up a travel trailer. Piece of tape to kind of just keep 
keep it from flopping around. Take these. Some of you may think this is silly, but we're dealing with my brain here. So I'm going to hang those there. See how those are in the way? I'll see them for sure. So when I get there, I'll know I've got to fix that. All right, we're ready to go. get there about seven o'clock tonight I'm a little bit later today than I usually am but my wife has to go to on Wednesday evening she helps out with the children's choir at our church we go to so she wouldn't be able to pick me up till probably 7 30 so I kind of scheduled it where I'd get in here later than I normally do um, got some good news. I talked to the people uh, where I'm taking this camper. It's Robertsdale Camping World in Robertsdale, Alabama, which, like I said, is between Mobile and Orange Beach and Gulf Shores and all that right down in there. They take will take a camper up until 4:30. So I am considering and I probably will leave early in the morning earlier than normal that I would well I may be an hour earlier than I normally would usually I leave about 6 a.m. to head to Texas but I think I'll leave about 5 that'll give me plenty of time depending on which route I decide to take I've got to look closer at that. If I take 65, I think it's like a nine hour, a little less than a nine, it's supposed to be a little less than a nine hour trip. So that'll put me there around two or three, uh, well, around two o'clock. And then uh, if I go the other route, which I'm thinking it was about an hour longer, supposedly, and that would be pushing three, 3.30 or so. So I've got to think through this tonight, what I want to do, what time I want to leave. But I definitely want to get there before 4.30 and drop this off. That way I can get up early Friday morning and head out. Nothing sucks more for me than, like on the Texas runs, getting down there the evening before and having to deliver on Monday mornings. And a lot of these places don't open until 9 a.m. and I'm up I like to get up at 4 or 5 in the morning, so I have to sit around and wait. I try to sleep. I try to sleep in, but sometimes it doesn't work because all during the week I'm getting up at 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning. So I, that would be cool, and I could get home early Friday. So anyway, I'm going to look at that. We're headed home, like I said, probably about, looks like we got a little over five hours of driving left. Um, about seven o'clock so far we've driven probably about 45 minutes or so now headed back and it's showing me 9.5 miles per gallon so 
if we can keep that up, we'll do good. Yeah, you guessed it. We're in Indianapolis. guys we're getting off at Hanson here <clears throat> at Love's so I am finished for the day I will see you all in the morning <laughs>